Hello everybody, my name is Jacob, and welcome back to We Love Katamari. We've got, speaking of we and we doing things, whoops. Well, hold on, I wanna put the nose on. Long nose! Oh, it's camera or long nose. Well, long nose wins that. Oh my god, look at him. <laughs> All right, we're gonna set some stuff on fire. We got, we're on a time limit though, so it has to be like orderly fire. Ooh, long day today. Home and a hot bath. Oh, we left a fire burning for the bath. Oh, the prince, what are we going to do? Huh? Campfire? We have more important issues. We must return to the royal castle and check on the fire for the bath. Katamari is le fantastique. Fantastique. Come to think of it, today is a sauna day, not bath day. That's why we left the fire burning, on purpose. Okay then, to the campgrounds. This one, if I recall correctly, whoopsie, um, was more difficult for me. Um, so I need to, cause it's not just rolling up big enough to roll up the campfire. You also have to make sure you keep rolling up hot things. Um, and also, like, rolling up enough stuff in quick succession so that you keep the fire lit. Because you can not roll up stuff um, in quick succession and ending up with a Katamari that quickly is extinguished, which is not good. Which I... Oh, God. Give me the meat, give me the meat, give me the meat, give me the meat, you chickens! Okay, I almost ran into that issue just then. I need to roll up more. Okay, good, we got the frying pans now. Because you also, like, you start so... It feels like you start smaller with this one than other ones. I know that's not really the case, um, but it, it's just how it, it sort of feels. Um, so it makes it more difficult, I feel like. Oh, the, the wood. Okay, good. Um, it makes it more difficult, I feel like, than other ones to... Keep it, keep the ball rolling, so to speak. Um, okay. Just gotta keep, gotta do the lights and the fires and everything in the wood, and not things like fire extinguishers. Even though there's a bunch of those over there that would be pretty nice um, to roll up, those are exactly the sorts of things we need to avoid because they will extinguish. Our catamari. Okay, come on. Keep it. Keep it going. Where's something? Okay, here are things. Bunches of those. Sure. I don't even... What were they? I don't know. But we got bunches of them. What are these? These just trash bags? Trash bags! Just got garbage. Just garbage. Yeah, here we go. This is... This is much closer to the run that I did where I ended up succeeding than the first run that I did where I ended up failing epically. Let's come get the fire. We can roll up actual fires now, which is good. That'll help us immensely. Okay. Just keep rolling up all these tiny things as much as we can to keep it all going. Can't roll up the bushes yet. That's fine. Okay, give me the meat. There we go. We can go do these shovels now. This one feels way like... Not calmer is not the right word, but like way more methodical than the other ones, which I really do like. I, I find that really fun, um, comparatively. It, it adds a, a different kind of an angle uh, to things. That I think is, as previously stated, it's it's a fun, it's a fun thing. Um, just rolled up some weird mushroom. It's cousin Kinoko. That's what I th I thought that was a cousin, but I also knowing Katamari was like I don't know maybe maybe it won't be somehow. Maybe it'll be something of like oh no that's just a weird mushroom that's not actually one of the cousins. But, you know, never put it. You never put anything past this game in terms of what is and isn't. Oh, don't go in the water. Do not go in the water. Never, ever go in the water. 
Ugh. Pretend to be like a, a orphan. Well, not an orphan, but pretend to be a child seeking refuge on land whose parents used to be like mermaids or something. Never go in the water. Also, I'm glad that since this one is all about fire, you can't roll up uh, people. I think if you could, that would be like a, a slightly too morbid for me. Um, so I like that that as an option is just completely removed. Um, I don't know. find it kind of funny as well. I could keep rolling up more stuff because I am pretty massive now, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. But I, I think right now we're probably just better off just, just going for it. Let's just go for it. Yeah. Almost three meters. That's pretty good. Oh, it's lit! It's lit! The fire's lit! The campfire is lit! So nice. Everyone looks like they're having fun. Alrighty, wanna go home? Yes, please. Blah, 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 blah. I know he doesn't stick his tongue out. He doesn't do the real rainbow like that, but I'm gonna do the blah, 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 blah every single time. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep doing it. Ah, oh, that felt good. Baths are the best. Oh, how careless of us. We brought the sponge along. Wait, this is... A Katamari? Oh. <clears throat> Am I getting hiccups, or is that just... Okay, I'm fine. Hmm, it's on fire! Oh, it's the camping Katamari. We remember now, it's the fire Katamari. It is it is passable. This 29, 2 meter, 90 centimeter, 7 millimeter fire. A nice calm fire to enjoy. There are much hotter fires, but this is sometimes alright. I'm glad he said that. Oh, it's second cousin Kinoko. What were you doing on Earth? Hmm? Dancing with a grandpa? We have no idea what you're talking about. It's a fiery Katamari any way we look at it. But it's still... It looks plants-ish. Yes, this... It's kind of plants-ish. That's how we see it. Oh, wee! This is a big fire. It's finally time for a proper campfire. I wonder who's going to sing. I wonder what kind of dancing we'll do. I know there are bigger fires around, but right now, we're happy with this one. This Katamari is yours. It is a thank you gift. Watch out, it's hot. Oh, really? You're giving it to us? Seriously? Fabulous! Thank you, we are so pleased. What should we do with it? Oh, we can pop it up into the cosmos. Yes, that's what we'll do. Get up there, fire. Burn in the deep coldness of space. You know, that's how physics things work, right? Mars, what else? But it's kind of small. Oh, it's a thorny Mars. Gotcha. Also, like... That, that's the sort of response that I want. Ooh, chapter four. That's the sort of response I want. It's not like too big and bold of like, oh my gosh, it's so big, it's so amazing. But it's also not like, oh, it's so tiny, you couldn't roll up a bigger one. That's the sort of response I want. Oh, it's our poor sad king. He's, his hair was sliced off and he's all alone in the world. Oh, it's love! It's hairbred love. That's like the chocolate and peanut butter, the, the joke of like, you got chocolate on my peanut butter. You got peanut butter on my chocolate. It's like, you got, you, you got your bread on my hair. You got your hair on my bread. Alrighty, who's next? Who needs help from a long-nosed prince next? You, what's your deal? Uh, largest possible three meters times ten minutes. What about you? What do you want? Largest possible school. Target 1.5. Five minutes. Let's do this one first. Um, I like the idea of just rolling around a school. This is a level I don't think I've done. Unless I'm mistaken, I don't think I've done this one. Salutom, mi nomo estates de king. Catamari damasi estas bona ludo. Yeah, I took French. I don't know this. Estadas Ludo Plige Bonega. Oh, the prince. What? Students at Earth schools? No! They're studying Esperanto. We are tre occupata. We all love your highness. Love? I also don't know if what he's speaking right now is an actual language. Hooray, done with studying. Perfect timing. Alrighty, off to school. For all I know, it could be like some bastardization or some like rude impression of a language. I don't know if it's an actual language or not. Hmm, so this is a school. Very lively. Looks fun. Off! We're off! It's amazing how many people I know 
who either were teachers or became teachers. Um, my brother is a teacher, our good friend Professor Jay. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's stated that he used to be a teacher. I, I don't want to... I don't want to, like, state that for him if he specifically avoided saying that, so I apologize if that's the case. But, I mean, I, I, it's, it's just odd to me the number of people I know who happen to be teachers. Um, or who happen to, like, be in the teaching profession at some point in their lives. Um, it's a fun kind of coincidence, for sure, but it's a coincidence nonetheless. Or nevertheless? Is that what the proper phrasing to use in such circumstances. I need a teacher in here to, to tell me, stat, to instruct me on if that was correct or not. Also, we're definitely going to get big enough to a point where we are just, like, rolling up all the students, right? That's definitely going to happen. I feel like it's, it's almost destined. Oh, looks like you can get out into the hallway. Oh, okay. It's not just the room. I gotcha. I should have I should have expected as much. Definitely should have expected it to just be in here. Why would it be? We're talking we're rolling up a whole school. That's what she said. That's that's what we were told when we first came in here. We're rolling up a school. Not a bunch of desks or one area, but a school. However, before we go out there. Yeah, I'm gonna take all your guys' school supplies. Um, if your teacher yells at you, just say that it was a tiny little prince um, rolling around and taking everything. In fact, I'm pretty sure she asked me to come in here and take all your guys' stuff, so that, that I would bring that up with her, especially <gasps> a soup-headed cousin! Oh, I gotta get that! Okay, okay. Um, roll around. Oh, the class rabbit and the bunch of buns. Okay. Uh huh. There, I got him! A soup cousin! That's so cool! I like that a lot. Alright. Wait, it's cousin Miso! Oh, of course his name is Miso. Is Miso Soup, get it? That's that's the joke. I like that a lot. I really do. Okay, out of the way, please, rude. I'm trying to roll up a bunch of stuff all over your school. To try to make the biggest Katamari possible by stealing all of your stuff. How dare you guys, um... I have some questions as to what's going on with that hopping dude. He seems hopping mad! Get it? Get it? He's hopping mad because he's hopping around. Excuse me, don't get grabby, please. That's a very rude. Oh, is this the teacher's lounge? Oh! I never got to go... Oh, no, wait, I did! I was the sort of kid where, like, my senior year of high school, or actually pretty much all of my high school years, I, like, went to, like, a specific teacher's room for lunch. So, like, I would always bring lunch that I could heat up, um, because she was nice enough to let me, like, she was nice enough to let me use the microwave in the teacher's lounge, um, which was just always super nice. I, I miss, I don't miss a lot about high school, but there is a uh, part of me that does sort of miss the handful of, like, super nice teachers that I used to know and talk to all the time. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, I miss certain elements of schooling. Not a lot, but certain ones. 1.5 meters already. Yeah, now we're getting people, too, so now we're really in it. Oh, now he's talking about how, how dare I ask for one that tiny. Haha, <laughs> how funny. Okay, excuse me, guys. Just gonna, just gonna roll up everybody in here. Oh, okay, almost everybody. Everybody's rolling around on their, uh, desks. That's funny. They're traveling on their chairs as if they are cars and or things that can be moved, period. Is it, I wonder, can I just get a Katamari that's mostly people? Is that a thing that I can do? Can I even... Is there an area beyond the school, I wonder? What happens if I come out here? Is there a courtyard? Oh, no. It just loops around. Okay. Interesting. It's in this classroom. Quickly. Oh, yes. It's back in the teacher's lounge. Quickly. Quickly. Roll it all up before... Roll up as much as possible. Okay. Wow. Again, almost double. We're like... 
routinely hitting almost double um, the size needed. But again, not double, almost double. We needed to hit 1.5, we hit 2.78. 0.2 meters away from being double. Jesus. Uno, du, tri, kvar, kvin, ses, sep, okay, ne, dek. Jess, we counted. We counted for the first time. Okay, je. Okay, je, do the katamari in our right hand, too. Oh, a katamari came out of nowhere. Go, go, go. Bigger. Make it bigger, bigger. Two meters, 78 centimeters, seven millimeters. Hey, that's small. Nobody can have fun like this. Make it bigger and let the good times roll. Buddy. Mm. Oh, it's Cousin Miso. What were you doing on Earth? Hmm? You were wandering around a school. Someone's going to eat you if you're not careful. That's very threatening, I gotta say. Oh, it feels stationary-ish. Or rather, reading-y. Um, Eureka! It's schoolish. That's what this Katamari feels like. This is a game where you roll and grow. That kind of thing, right? What is it I, that I'm feeling? Kind of ripped off, that's how I feel. Anyway, the students are all really disappointed. They say they have no use for such a small Katamari. Oh, really? You're giving it to us? Seriously? Fabulous! Thank you, we are so pleased. What should we do with it? Oh, we can pop it up into the cosmos. Yes, that's what we'll do. Every time he says fabulous, I can't not say it like, Oh, really? Fabulous! That planet looks like a school I wish I could visit. I can't help but saying it like that. Okay, we're starting to get into the stuff I haven't played yet. That was a whole new level I've definitely never touched. School is great. Playing with friends, confessing your love, culture fest, sports fest, graduation. Ah, youth. We went to school too, of course. Um, it was night school. We feel youth was bittersweet. We'd remember from the shock of the bamboo sword, but the king never looks at the past. Okay, so new, new memory level. Also, again, I feel the need to repeat. I played, hold on, I played Katamari Damacy, the remaster, I played Beautiful Katamari, some of it, not all of it, I played Katamari Forever, basically all of it, and I played some of, like a couple levels of, the Vita and PSP games. This, We Love Katamari is the only Katamari game I, ne I have never touched, period, prior to playing this, obviously. Um, also, kind of, kind of weird to me that they never... Roll up sound, five minutes, okay. Kind of weird to me that they never did one for 3DS. You would think that they would. You forgot your instruments. Oh. Hurry to the school and get them. It doesn't matter if it's night. Become a bold king. I forgot he's angry. Also, actually, it just occurred to me, prior to the remasters with Switch, there'd never been a Katamari game on Nintendo ever. Don't be afraid of ghosts. Just hurry and get the forgotten instruments. Five in total. If you touch a ghost, you have to leave. Oh, okay. Well, where are they then? And do I have to roll stuff up? Oh, there's an instrument. Do I have to roll other things up to, to pick them up? I always forgot my recorder on the floor. Okay. Oh, I see like a mad scientist with kind of like a potion. Oh. This is a different kind of level. I, I find this very cool, I gotta say. Ow! One more time. I didn't even... That was frustrating. Didn't even think that that was possible. Or that they were even moving in that way. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, cool. Recorder, got it. Okay, I see the rabbit with one in the hallway. Also, I really like one of the one of my favorite things about the dual control stick. Um, okay, yeah, they move very fast. Okay, is there one? Okay, I see. Roll them back and forth. One of my favorite things about the dual uh, analog stick. Oh, control scheme for Katamari is, um, it makes turning, like, oddly easy, like adjusting your turn mid, um, mid-movement. I really, really like it. There better be, 
an instrument over here. I don't actually know. Well, damn it, it looks like there's not. Okay, well, oh, it's right over here. Oh, am I not big enough? Hold on, can I roll can I roll up the the leg? Okay. Back up, King. Back up. I see what I need to do. I need to roll across the second to the second set of tables and then fall down on that chair. I like this more like puzzle focused level. It's a nice change of pace from just like trying to chaotically run around and roll every single thing up. Okay, calm yourself. There we go, okay. Uh, don't forget your flute piano again. Okay. Okay, there's the rabbit. Okay, I see the ghost. Okay, there's the rabbit. Go get the rabbit, go get the rabbit. Come on, come on. Come here, rabbit. Got it. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, damn it! I was wondering where it went. Okay, one more time. One more time. We gotta get the rabbit last. Clearly, we need to get the rabbit last. Where the hell am I now? I'm in a whole new spot. Okay, same... Same starting room, just different... Oh, same starting room, just different corner of the room. So there must be, if there's five in total, there's one in every classroom and then the rabbit in the middle. Um, good to know, good to know. So we'll hug the wall. Okay. Now we'll go, I was gonna say go slowly, but that's actually the opposite of what we should be doing. We should be going faster. I guess touching their hands are fine. I just don't want to run into like. Duh, duh, ah. Stop! Stop it! Stop! Just don't want to run into their like whole body. I guess. Also, stopping is like stopping of your own volition is basically impossible in this game. Um, it's always like feels ridiculous. Oh, there's the rabbit. Can I just... Thank you. No, no, no. Get in the corner. Get in the corner. Okay, okay. Where are the other two? Going way faster than I did before, which is I think is good. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Must be another classroom down this way. I don't think any ghosts run up and down over here. Yeah, okay. The teacher's lounge must have one somewhere. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I dropped them! I didn't think that I would drop the instruments. Those seem like things that they would just like never make you drop. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Oh, what a, what a wonderful picture of a bunch of men. Okay, there it is. Okay, Castaneda. Why are the Castanetas in the teacher's room? I don't know. Why are there ghosts wandering the halls of the school in the middle of the night? Okay, it's gotta be in this... in the bathroom? It's gotta be in the bathroom, right? This is the only other area I can go in, I'm pretty sure. Oh, is that it? Yes, there it is. Right next to the big lizard man. I did it! Woo -hoo -hoo! Barely passing. Do your homework quick. Yes. I did it! I got all five! And it better have been just about finding the music and not about, like, act like actually getting bigger. Because otherwise, that's, that's unfair. Did that happen? We were always great. Would you like to hear more about us? Well, if you're interested, we'll tell you of our youthful exploits. Number one was stationary, of course, which is funny because I j The only stationary stuff I picked up just happened to be on that table. That's enough for today! You still require a better ear, though. Use this and strive harder. 
use this. Oh, we're getting new pencils. Oh, I love the note glass. Presents. We're getting new presents. Why did I say pencils? I know because I was looking at a pencil, but I love the note glasses so much, by the way. Those are very good. All right. We're going to do one more level. We've only got one more that we can do. Boop. Boop. All righty, man. Ten minutes. Big as possible. And then we'll unlock a bunch more levels uh, after this. I think I've done this one. I don't know. Obviously, I haven't done the stuff from the King's Past because I didn't know that existed before then. The Prince, you're so tiny, as tiny as ever. Are you working out? Are you boxing? Oh, we used to box, we just remembered. We did beat a rabbit once, hmm? What? A grandchild? Like, we know what that means. Don't interrupt. Can't we wallow sometimes? A magnificent figure just like I imagined. Magnificent. Yes, grandchildren are sweet. Very precious grandchildren are. Yes, yes. Alrighty, let's try a little rolling. For the grandchildren, too. I think I have done this one because I remember the grandchildren talk. Um, but after this, I don't think there's any more levels uh, like that, that I've done before. I'm pretty sure all the levels after this are completely unique ones. Hunko. What are Hunko? I don't know what Hunko is. Come here, you little rodents. Quite literally, little rodents. Alright, I caught one. Now I'm able to catch the rest of them. Except for the brown one, I guess. Oh, I remember this level giving me some trouble. I, like, barely made it the first go-round, and then I tried it again to get a bigger size, and I ended up not getting it at all. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm completely mistaken. Which is also a possibility. Just because I'm playing... I was going to say just because I'm playing a game for smart people. That's never at any point implied with Katamari. Katamari's just another game. Um, a game for... Calling Katamari specifically a game for smart people is very much something that, like, the king would do. He's just like, yes, this is our game. Our game for smart people. Okay, loading a new area. That's a very good sign that I got to the loading screen that fast. Um, we also got... Oh my god, I just realized we have the music note glasses on. What happened to th that completely removed? Oh, I guess the costumes in the King's Memories must be completely different from the costumes in the, uh, quote-unquote normal area. And when we equip it from there, it completely removes any of the costume stuff we have from the main area. Which is why I no longer have my long nose or my antenna, or my makeshift antenna. I now just have the music note glasses, which are fine. I freaking love the music note glasses. They're very, very good. Um, give me as much stuff in here as possible. Yeah, toads and crawfishes and foods and such. Okay, grab any extra last minute big things. And let's go. Squids and shoes and everything. Oh, lots of squids. Okay. And we even just got even bigger. You love to see it. You'd love, love, love to see it. Okay. As big as possible, as quickly as possible. Give me all of the transformers. Come on. Turn yourself, friends. Turn yourself. Man, the, the super calming music set to a game with a very specific time limit is something else entirely, I gotta say. Oh, and a dung beetle. Oh, speaking of, there's even more. Oh, we're rolling up so much crap. Get it? Get it? Do you guys get it? Sh is, is it a funny joke? Should I repeat it 15 more times? Or do you get it the, on the first go-round? Okay, loading a new area. He's talking all about the rabbit that he boxed, and I'm not listening to it at all. I'm just completely ignoring my dad in favor of just, you know, doing teen things. What an unfortunate and realistic scenario to most of America's youth and their parents. How sad. How sad indeed. This is turning into quite the PSA, I gotta say. I wasn't expecting that. But sometimes the best sort of lessons are the ones 
you aren't expecting. Not at all. My nose itches. Katamari really brings out just the weird in me, in terms of, like, the jokes I make and the statements and just the complete, ugh, non sequiturs. But I feel like that's part of the appeal. Katamari is supposed to be one of those games that brings those things out in you. You're supposed to feel weird while playing it because it is a weird game. If you don't feel some kind of weird while playing it, well, I don't know if you're playing it correctly then. Although I will say, I don't think there's a, a way to play a game right or wrong unless the way you're playing the game is specifically and explicitly uh, not the way that the game is clearly meant to be played. Like, if you're playing a racing game like Mario Kart as a, like, whoever collects coin the most coins wins, that's clearly not how you're supposed to play that game. That, I would say, is technically incorrect. But... Who's to say there's a right or wrong way to play a Katamari game? Besides the makers of Katamari themselves. Ooh, all these little masks and stuff. They even had a name. I don't even know what it was because I blew past it so fast. That's going to be a theme, I think, with most Katamari things is... Oh, what was that cool thing? Oh, I don't know because I rolled past it so quickly. The game didn't tell me what it was called. God, my nose is so itchy and I don't know why. It's almost, it's its a kind of annoying itchiness, you know? Where you're just like, can you just either tell me what's, what's wrong with you that's making you so itchy so I can prevent it, or just stop itching so I can get on with my life? Katamari is a wonderful game. It's a very peaceful, calming game. It makes me very happy to be spending time in this weird and wacky world. Why am I saying this like this, as if it's a PSA or like I'm about to announce my retirement? I couldn't tell you, but I am saying it like that. That's all that I know. Okay, I need more kids. I need to roll up more kids. Where are the rest of the kids? There's some kids. Kids in their backpacks. And their test papers. And I'm going to get their hurdles, all their hurdles. Those are going to be a really nice stack. Oh my god, the fact that they're all still jiggling in their, like, workout poses is so weird and uncomfy. I'm not a fan of it. Because they're just jiggling on top of other people as well. Oh, those are stacks? I didn't realize those were stacks. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going back and grabbing the rest. Now that I know that they're stacks. Come here, everybody. Come on, don't you want to join in the Katamari? Join in the Katamari, everybody. It's so much fun, isn't it? To be part of something uh, unique. To be part of a group. Is that a present? A present for us? A present from a fan? Make sure you keep it rolled up nice and safe. I didn't even realize there was a present in there. How nice. How cool. Oh, now we're hitting the big leagues. Now we're hitting the point in every Katamari level where stuff just becomes redonkulous. It's my favorite point in every level. Just like, there is no obstacle anymore. The only obstacle is what I can physically reach now be due to my size. See? Three meters already? That only took like a second. It's kind of like a win. I knock it. Keep working and make it as big as possible. You got it, Dad. That's what I'm doing. I wonder if there's a... I don't think there's a bigger area beyond this space, because the game would have told me if there was, and it hasn't. I don't think there is. But I still got three minutes to kill. Uh, so we're going to keep rolling all this stuff up. Do -do -do. I guess... Did I play this one? I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't good enough at this one, and I was much smaller than three meters, but I also... I feel like I played a level like this, and I just kept struggling almost the whole time to, to even remotely reach uh, the correct size, but this time I got to it so easily, so maybe I was wrong, and I this wasn't the same level that I was thinking it was. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, now I'm getting trees. Now we're reaching that size. And my nose still itches! I 
feel like the more I play this game, the more I just start talking like the king. Like, just talking about, like, oh yes, we keep rolling, and we're having fun, and our nose still itches. Like, that sounds very much like something that he would say, just complete and total nonsense like that. Oh, this is where we were before. Like, rolling around all this stuff, and all the people and such. Yeah, this is where we were before. It's super cool up here. That's one of my favorite aspects of Katamari, is returning to the areas that you started at, that you weren't... You were hardly big enough to roll mostly anything up at, and now you're so massive that you're, like, rolling every single tiny thing up. It's super fun. It's one of the best aspects of the series, I think. Um, because it lets you get that fun sense of accomplishment. You're returning to where you once called... To what you once called home. And now it's even more massive. Ooh, yay! Fences. I'm not gonna hit... See, again, we're not gonna hit double. We're gonna hit almost double. I'm telling you, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing that seems to be happening to me in this playthrough. Not double, but almost double. Oh, that guy's drowning. Let me save him by rolling him up. By rolling... He's drowning, so let me help him by rolling him up into a giant ball of nonsense that sucks up any and all life surrounding it. Okay, still not big enough for that. That's fine. Hi, everybody. Excuse me, everybody. I'm just rolling on through here. Just rolling on through. Let me get the clock tower. There we go. Okay, all done. How was the rolling today? Oh, that's nice. Alrighty, want to go home? Yes, please. I'm, I'm upset you can't do, like, a longer one. Like, oh, you rolled for six minutes, you want to roll for a little bit more. I think that's what the Royal Reverie mode is, though. I could be wrong, but I think that's what that is. That right hook, it landed like a ton of bricks. Hmm? What? What's this in our right hand? It's a Katamari! Oh, fierce Katamari! This is what the teeny Katamari grew into? This is what the puny grandson grew into? Five meters, 22 centimeters, nine millimeters? That's astounding! Growing up is an astounding thing, the coolest thing of all. Oh, you rolled with speed, rolled that Katamari. You rolled fast enough to make stars go shooting down. I'm glad he's finally acknowledging how good of a job we did. Wow! We got a crown as a present, fabulous! But we already have a crown, a much, much nicer one. The prince, you can have it. It's from a fan, so make sure you appreciate it. I will. And we got a... Oh... A cousin. Are you okay, dude? Oh, it's Cousin Johnson. What were you doing on Earth? Hmm? You were talking to the Daruma Otoshi? We have no idea what you're talking about. Neither do I. I don't know what that is. Hmm, this feels... This Katamari feels schoolish. But it kind of feels necessities it too. Hmm, it's a complicated Katamari. Oh! <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, Katamari Damacy is fun. It's incredibly fun. Now I know why my grandson wants it. Video games can be a lot of fun. I want you to have this Katamari as a token of my appreciation. It was fun. Thank you. Oh, really? You're giving it to us? Seriously? Fabulous! Thank you. We're so pleased. What should we do with it? Oh, we can pop it up into the cosmos. Yes, that's what we'll do. And there it goes. And that's the other thing. Like, it's not just that Katamari Damacy was a previous event that happened within this world. But it's the fact that... It's a, also a video game in this world. My, it's falling, so Katamaris can fall too. What was, what's falling? Where did the meteor come from? How do you get, oh. The season for Meadowlarks? Is that what that said? Oh, it's even got the song on it. That's cute. Aww. This is very cute, I must say. Oh no! All the ice cream! Uh-oh, uh... What? Uh, you're trying to get the mushroom? Okay... Why are you trying to get the mushroom? Oh, They're so in love! They're so in love! Oh. 
Oh my god, there's so many people that need our help now. But don't worry, we're going to continue to help them and continue to build more Katamaris in the next episode. So thank you everybody for watching. Like the video if you like the video. Share the video if you'd like to share the video. Subscribe if you'd like to as well. That would really help me out. I have been Jacob, and you have been wonderful. Thank you guys for sticking with me and the prince and, you know, everybody. Having just a blast rolling stuff up. I really appreciate it. And this has been We Love Katamari. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you, Space Cowboys.